intercede for Muhammad here on earth, Muslims? We don't get to intercede for him at all, and he would be, he's, he's the one who's going to intercede for us. We don't intercede for him, we ask him, Allah, to increase his mention. We are praying, we are praying to Allah to increase his mentioning in the company of the angel. We can't intercede for him, yeah. we, can, we don't, we can't can do I, that, we don't have anything. Can I, can you know? I address your, uh, can I address okay, your question? Okay. I don't want yeah, to hang up. Ahead, okay, we're t I wish you had called earlier. Yeah. But please, brother, my brother in humanity, please call tomorrow night, Lord willing. Call earlier. We'll open up the phone lines earlier. We're going to be on 10 o'clock again because our time is on. Let me answer real quickly your argument. But let me explain for the audience who probably didn't understand what he meant. He goes, Allah's prayers means that he mentions Muhammad and praises him in the heavenly host. Now, is that what the Quran says? No, but... Let's let's say his interpretation may have some plausibility. The reason why it can't be the meaning of the passage is because my brother in humanity, like some other Muslims, keep ignoring the fact it says both Allah and the angels are doing this act. Notice the verb passage again. Verily, Allah and his angels pray. What he wants to do is he wants to take the same word, the same verb that's applied to both Allah and the angels doing it and then define the verb differently <clears throat> depending on whether it's Allah or the angels. In other words, although both of them are engaged in the same act, it doesn't have the same meaning. On what contextual basis does he then change the meaning of the verb when it says both of them are doing the same exact act? So if it means, <clears throat> if it means that when angels pray for Muhammad, that they're, they're going before Allah, and whatever he said that they do for Muhammad, then that means the same meaning that you gave for the angels praying must have the same meaning for Allah because they're, it says they're both doing this very same thing. You with me there? Yeah. And, so how do you change the definition? And, and, and just for, for the sake of our viewers who, <clears throat> who, who, who are unfamiliar with the background, because we, we've discussed this several times on the, on the program, uh, what does the basic word mean that they're using there? The no text. Muslim would deny. If you just mention, what does Salah mean? Mm -hmm. Delta means prayer, worship. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the word is in the Arabic. Mm -hmm. It says that Allah and His angels, you salun. Mm -hmm. It comes from Salah. Mm -hmm. And then it says, you who believe, pray for Him, Salu. So just ask a Muslim, before you quote the verse, say, Muslim, what does Salah mean? Oh, it means worship. It's prayer, it's worship. What does Salawat mean? Oh, prayer, worship. Then you say, it says that your God does Salah and Salawat. Oh, well, the meaning is totally different than the meaning of the word change. Yeah. In, other, in, in other words, my friend, here's the point. If the word meant, right, if the word used here meant, mentions Muhammad among the heavenly host or something like that, why wouldn't the verse say, Allah mentions Muhammad among the heavenly yeah. host? To avoid any confusion. Yes. Because what you find in the Quran is, you Muslims, you go out and do your prayers right and you know what it does when when it tells you to pray it's not saying mention this among the heavenly host you have your prayers and then the problem is it turns right around and says oh allah does this too and, and with so the angels. angels yeah it uses the arabic conjunction wa which mm -hmm. muslims admit is the conjunction of partnership mm -hmm. meaning allah and the angels together are doing this mm -hmm. so if we want to suppose we grant suppose we grant to our friend that the word means one thing when it says Allah does it, and it means something different when the angels do it, and it means something different when, <laughs> when yeah. human beings do it. It has all these different meanings when there are other words that could have clarified the situation, and so what you have in the Quran is total confusion. Precisely. The, we're using the same word and constantly changing the meaning so that people like us can come along and point out and say, what could this possibly mean? But it's a clear and Muslims can, Arabic Quran. Yeah, it's supposed yeah, to be clear. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's what I was getting to. Your Quran, your book, claims over and over and over again like a beating drum to be clear clear and your Allah can't even use one basic word as a, a word as important as prayer consistently and as you know, the constantly uh, change of meaning. Real quickly add to your point. They say the Arabic is a very rich uh, uh, and expressive language. Mm -hmm. Weren't there other words that yeah, Allah can't could have come used? up with another word? It's like Allah, I don't know what I don't know what word I'm going to use here. Oh, let me use the same word I use for people bowing down in prayer exactly. and then applying it to Allah. Secondly, even the definition he proffered because this comes from Ibn Kathir and others. Mm -hmm. It says that Allah is praising Muhammad to the heavenly host. You understand that praise itself is an act of worship? You're telling me that Allah has nothing better to do but to praise a creature to all the angels in heaven. And you think that actually lessens the impact? 
what does the word Muhammad mean? Yeah, it means praise one. Exactly. <laughs> Most, not just yes. praise one. Superlative. Abundant yes. praise. Yes, go ahead. And what do Muslims say when they make salwa? Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Are you a Nabi? Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, exactly. And even when they say Alhamdulillah, it comes from the same root meaning all praise be to Allah. No, you just said Allah praises Muhammad. So all praise isn't to Allah. It's also given to Muhammad in heaven. And you're addressing Muhammad directly yes. in the Salat. Assalamu alaikum, ayyuhan nabi. Uh, Farhan, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, oh, sorry, hey, sorry we didn't get to you since we started uh, taking callers, but it's a live talking, a live yeah. call-in show, so we wanted to get to as many yeah. callers uh, as we can. Why don't you take a minute or two and uh, give any final thoughts for the Muslims out there. We know Muslims are watching this show. One of them just called in. Muslims call in regularly, sure. and we know, you know, most of them... Uh, how is that not partnering Muhammad with Allah? Sounds like shirk to me, you know? So, yeah, sounds like shirk when you have to do that. So now you know why it's Muhammad Pubba, uh, praise be unto him. But it's really not that. It means may Allah pray, uh, uh, pray upon him, you know, yeah, pr basically pray for him, so, yeah.